Good morning, my amazing art students. Miss Levy here. We're online this week, but that doesn't mean that we can't create. So I have a really exciting artist for you this week. He is a street artist. His name is Chris Upuse, and street art is meaning that we take that art out into the streets. So there are huge murals of his artwork, and he has a lot of fun with these little hearts. They are really fun, and I can't wait to create with them. I can't cr wait to create them with you today. Got that out of my mouth. Here we go. All right, let's draw some hearts. I'm gonna have you use a black crayon because not everybody has a Sharpie. You're gonna have one white piece of paper and now that you've sort of practiced your hearts, you've kind of figured it out. You know that you have to have a minimum of five, but you can do more than five, just a minimum of five. And if I'm designing like Chris Uphughes, some of my hearts are really big and some of them are smaller. So, and they can overlap each other. So I'm gonna use this black crayon so that we can see really clearly. I've got three. Some of them can be really wide and fat. Some of them can be really skinny. They're all gonna have their own personality. And the fun part about them is that Chris Uphughes, he likes to make them all have a happy face to them. So next we'll have to put some faces on ours. And I'm gonna um, link that idea sheet next so you can pause the video to get some ideas. Maybe I'll do a really skinny one along the side. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know that interesting compositions are odd numbers, so I'm gonna do nine of them. All right, so I've got nine hearts all drawn and outlined with a black crayon. Here's the idea sheet. Now, you can feel free to go back and pause the video for that idea sheet, or it's gonna be linked below in the YouTube channel video. So you can download it yourself so that you'll always have it. You can do it either way. Okay, now I'm gonna draw faces using that same black crayon. Okay, I'm gonna look at my idea sheet. You know, your eyes are kind of where I like to start. Okay, so you can do some circles. Maybe this particular heart is wearing glasses. If you are in my third grade classes, we were working on some of these faces before we have used them in a couple different places. Maybe you're gonna have some big eyes on this one with a big pupil in the center, really surprised. Okay, don't forget about your noses. Maybe one of them is sleeping. Their eyes are closed. Maybe one is gonna have a pupil that's looking in one direction and a pupil that's rounded, looking in the other direction. You can make them as fun and silly as you like, okay? So we've got eyes and noses on lots of them. And do some big eyes on this one, this big one. Sometimes you can put a little white shadow in there. That's just like a little square or rectangle that has a reflection in the eye, in the pupil, okay? And maybe this one will have some skinny eyes. 
that are looking down, you can decide. Maybe he'll have eyebrows. Okay, now gets to the mouths. Mouths can be funny. Now these hearts can be talking to one another. Okay, they can just have a big smile on their faces. They could be laughing. And sometimes you can see the tongue in there when they're laughing. Um, maybe they have big teeth. Maybe they have one tooth. But they're supposed to be silly and fun. So have fun with it. Now this is an idea sheet. This isn't really a copy sheet. You can make them any way that you want. Just have fun with it. I'm gonna keep all my nose kind of the same because the eyes are what's really kind of fun. Maybe this one's gonna be looking up. But Chris Uphughes wants everybody to have some fun with this and make some really fun and silly faces. There's that one is smiling. Let's do this one with his tongue that you can see. And this last one, maybe he has his tongue out. Maybe he has a silly tongue. All right, so I have all my silly hearts. Ta-da! Now for the next phase, color baby color. Okay, so I have the benefit of having a big bowl of markers, but any markers will do, but you actually do want to have them be water-based markers. So Crayola are really great for that. And they have, uh, a tip to them where that's kind of slanted. So they have a point that you can do fine line with, but if you turn it on its side, you're gonna get a nice big fat line on the inside. So we're gonna go around the inside of our hearts with a nice big fat line. Now you can decide what color you want your hearts to be. They can be any color you want. You are the artist. You can decide. Um, but I'm going to make them all different, or at least try to. I might have a couple of them that are the same. But I'm pressing really hard with the inside of what they call a chisel tip to your marker. So it just kind of has that fat, wide side to it. Okay, so you want to do a nice, big, thick line on the inside. And Chris Upuse, his goal for these was to make everybody happy. So try and put some fun, happy faces on the inside of these hearts. Make them all individual and different. This blue needs to be a little bit darker so we can make a nice, big blue heart. Let's see, maybe a pink heart. Oh, I forgot a mouth on that one. Let me draw a mouth on that one. Let's make this one pink. Gotta have some pink hearts. Boys will say no. Boys, if you wanna make all yours purple, that's fine with me. Or blue. Um, where's my red? Hmm, red, where are you? There's a red. Let's make this one red. And the crayon, what it's gonna do is, because crayon is made of wax, it's going to resist the water that we put on this um, because water and wax repel each other. They don't mix. 
Where's that black crayon of mine? Let's see if we can put a funny face on this guy. Um, maybe he'll have his two teeth. There we go. Whoa. Um, let's see. What other color have I not used? I used orange, red, green, yellow, blue, purple. Hmm, I don't want any brown hearts. Maybe I'll make two orange ones. Maybe this guy will be orange. All right. Now, the background. So in the background, what we're gonna do, now that we have that thick line on each one of those, is we're gonna take two colors. You can make them be in the same color family, analogous, which is like where they're close together in the color wheel. And we're going to use that chisel part of the marker and we're gonna draw some dots and dashes using that thick part of the marker in different sections. Oops. So maybe I'll do yellow to make those thicker lines. I'm gonna use some blue. I'm gonna use some pink. Same colors I used everywhere else. Maybe some green. Red and green are opposites on the color wheel. They look great together because they're opposites. And some blue and green. It's like a heart party. With different colors in every section. Okay, let's put some pink up here. Little dots and dashes and lines. Let's put some yellow in here. And you want two colors, at least two colors in every section. So that it looks like a real party. Let's see, let's put some green in here. Okay, now we can color this. Okay, so there's two ways to do it. Hang on, let me show you both ways. Okay, so we now, I've got two ways to go about this. You might at home have a paintbrush. If you have a paintbrush, that is great, okay? Um, and I'll show you both ways. If you have a paintbrush, you're just gonna paint on top of your hearts with water. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna turn that beautiful marker line that you made, nice and fat, into kind of a paint, a water-based paint. Look at that. So if you have a paintbrush, super awesome. If you don't have a paintbrush, don't worry about it. I bet you have a spray bottle. Can you put a spray bottle together with just water in it? If you have an empty one that mom will give you, that'll also work. And then you can just spray your artwork and those colors are gonna ooze and bleed together and it's gonna look super cool, okay? So, either way, you can do it. You can even take your finger and move it around, move that water around until it dries. Remember that that um, crayon is going to resist the color. If you don't have a paintbrush, feel free to kind of get a little messy. Again, this is water-based, so it's gonna wash right off, okay? And if you think it's too wet and you don't like how it's looking, maybe the colors are mixing together in a way that you don't like, like this green is coming onto the pink, okay? You can take a tissue and kind of dab it up. But I kind of like how these colors are moving together in different uh, different kind of swirly colors around. I think that looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna take my finger and finish this green one, 
kind of around the mouth and the eyes. I'm gonna finish this red one with my finger and I'm gonna set it somewhere where it's not gonna be bothered, where it can really dry and look awesome. Okay guys, that is your project this week. I hope you have so much fun with it, okay? I can't wait to see your hearts. Nice job, I'll see you soon.